Wipe everything up and stain. If we f it up, we'll fix it. I spilled the stain first thing. We have the tarp laid out. We're gonna go ahead and get the hose, wet that thing down, and let Josh go right down the slip and slide. Be sure you tie that beard up now. This is going to be a very interesting day or couple of days for us because we are going to start finishing the floors inside of our house, which yes. means that we need to move everything that's on the main level inside the house, outside the house, on the tarps for a couple of days so that all the different steps can get done and you know, the floors can be completely finished and allow us to move all the furniture back inside. And this is exactly why we didn't want to move in until the house was completely done because... We probably should have done the floors a long time ago then. But our reasoning for not doing that at the time was we didn't want to be like dragging ladders and tools around and putting it on top of the finished floors. So we were, we were hoping to, fin to do the floors last. And it just didn't work out that way because we had... It's right around the corner from being last, so... It's gonna be tough. We'll make it work. We'll just move everything four or five times and be done. <laughs> right? E easy as that, right? No See, big deal. I got you, you know what I mean? Got big country on my side. That's right. So, we'll get it in, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna get it in. No, you're not. <laughs> not after that comment, you're not. <laughs> that wasn't so bad, right? We don't have much of anything in our house. I know. Yeah, I'm actually surprised we got a big tarp and uh, didn't use half of it. No, we did. <laughs> we got the house all cleaned up. Everything was emptied out. The floor was swept and vacuumed. We were ready to start working on the project and we realized that we had already made our first mistake. This is our first time finishing hardwood floors and we bought the wrong type of wood filler, which meant we had to go all the way into town, which you know eats up the entire day being that we're out as far as we are. But we did uh, finally get the right kind of wood filler and we're finally ready to get going. So hopefully no more hiccups on this project. So we went through and used wood filler in between some of the small cracks and small gaps. Um, some of the boards weren't all the same dimension. They're, they're, 
I mean, some boards are like an eighth inch off, I imagine, right? Yeah, the there's width. some very variation. So, a little variation. So we went through there. It wasn't too tedious, right? No, it, it wasn't. Quick. It probably looked like it was, but with the two of us doing it together, um, it did. It I think about, an, about an hour quick. total, total I imagine. Right? So now that needs to dry for like 45 minutes. Depends. And then we can sand. So I guess we're just going to check as time passes, yep. see how it goes, and when it's ready, then we'll... Uh, Break out the sander. But it's lunchtime. I'm starving. <laughs> right? Yeah, time for you to go make sandwiches. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> While Josh keeps working on sanding the floors, I thought I would take you guys over to the powerhouse to take a look at our solar setup. Um, we've gotten a lot of questions about what we're doing to cool our home now that the warmer months are here. So um, now that we're running everything, you guys might have noticed in the background, we have a little like mobile, I don't even really know what you'd call it. It's like a mobile air conditioner. It has wheels on the bottom that you can scoot around. We have that running right now at the same time as the sander. We have lights going. We have one of our kids in the shower. So the well pump is running. Um, there's a TV on upstairs in the boys loft. So we have our, our fence charger, we the freezer, the refrigerator. We have all kinds of stuff running all at once. So let's take a look and see how it's going. We are drawing about 3,300 watts. So on a day like today, when we have plenty of sun out, it is more than enough to run everything that we wanna run without even really having to think about it. The little AC unit is not a permanent solution. It's just temporary for right now. We do have plans for how we're gonna cool our home. And we'll of course show you guys that once we get to that project. But for now, this works really well, especially considering that our house is in the shade for the majority of the day. We, we have trees around our house. The shade comes in quickly. We get a little bit of sun in the morning, but uh, it's not like out in the blazing heat like it would be if it was in the pasture. So no, if you were wondering, Josh is not sweating his butt off in here doing all of the sanding. He is very pampered and has a nice cool environment. Right, Josh? So the guy that backed him in the sander. <laughs> Back means a good job for him, don't you think? <laughs> So I'm getting ready to start round two of the sanding. First we start with an 80 grit, the second one goes to 100 grit, and I guess the last thing we're going to do is 120 grit. Once that's done and gets everything cleaned up, we'll start the stain. We could sweat all through the summer and the winter we could freeze. I'll be there through it all at your side. 
So go on, leave the way. I won't be far behind. Food came from our farm, babe. You know this, right? Pretty cool. It's great. Yeah. We had breakfast and we're ready to get back to work on the floors. We've moved what we're using temporarily to cook outside so that we don't have any worry of making a mess over the floors that we spent all day yesterday sanding. So the first thing that we're gonna do today is go into all those tight areas that the big sander can't reach with an edger and then we should finally be ready to start staining. So the plan is clean everything up, vacuum again, take lunch, let it sit for a few hours, mm -hmm. come back to the tack cloth, wipe everything up, and stain. If we f it up, we'll fix it. Right? Sure. Sounds like a plan. All right. Good. <laughs> It started out pretty bad. I spilled the stain first thing. Um, got drip marks everywhere. So Aaron's freaking out a little bit. She's putting the stain down. I'm a little bit nervous about how it's gonna turn out. It's definitely not off to a good start as of right now. All right, take this, babe. Get this thing set up so I can start rubbing it down. We are lonely. We are feeling lost. No, you're not the only. Reach to the dark 
It is day one million of attempting to finish these wood floors. It's day three. So the problem is living in a house while trying to finish the floor, sanding. With kids. With kids and pets and it's, a, it's mayhem at best. Yes, it has been a major inconvenience. Yes, to say the least. Yes. Right? Yeah. However, so. we're getting there. We're in the home stretch now. Yep, so the stain is done, correct? The stain is completely done. So the whole process is we have all unfinished wood. We put it down, so we started with an 80 grit, we went up to a 100, 100 grit, yes. and then we finished with 120 grit sandpaper. Um, now it's all nice and smooth, right? Yes. So what's next? Well, then in between each of those, we went through and vacuumed. She vacuumed. And then at the very end, we a good to job, go through, you know? let everything settle. Tacky cloth it at the very end. Through. Yep, we tacky cloth it, got all the, I guess the particles. micro dust and particles off. Yes. We went through and stained. Yes. Which you wasn't stain fun. In sections, you let it like dry a little bit or soak that in. That was my easy the entire time. And I'm, I'm, not, I'm not really good at that. I don't practice that usually. So, or at all, actually. But. <laughs> It's done, right? Yes. It's all so we. <laughs> it was actually stained. I was on my knees. I, had, I rubbed it out. <laughs> I got rubbed out. I guess so you got to rub the stain off for five minutes. I mean, what, what do you mean to do here? You know, you got to rub the stain out. I've had the five minutes get off. You don't want to settle in there and dry that way. So now that the stain is done, it's nice and even. Has a nice, good, rustic look. Yes, it's beautiful, which is one of the reasons Jeez. why we loved the, uh, the we love pine in general because it, it does it the way it takes the stain. It has imperfections, and we like the way that the grain <laughs> looks on pine. So it gives you the rustic look. But on top of that, the reason why we didn't get already finished wood floors to install, which would have been much easier because we yes. would have avoided this entire process, is because we wanted everything to match perfectly. All the beams, all the trim. But plus, when we say that, a bunch of money, if, that if too. we got the type of wood that we liked, it would have been like $6 a foot times yes. 1,100 square feet, so do yes. the math, this was a little bit over a dollar a foot. So we saved thousands upon thousands of dollars. Yes. And the rental fee for the machine is $180, $180 for the week. Mm -hmm. So we saved a lot of money doing it this way. And we weren't gonna be able to find, we went through and looked at everything, there was nothing that was going to match everything else perfectly. Right. So now it really, it flows perfect everywhere that the trim around the doors meets the floor. Yep. So, Long story short, we had to work a little bit harder, but uh, Josh obviously was very comfortable with the process, <laughs> and we uh, we finished up with the look that we want. So yeah, that looks good. That's it. We are gonna leave you guys there because we now need to get onto the polyurethane process. Yes. So that's what's up next for us. Wish yep. us luck, and thank you for watching. Thanks, guys. We'll see you next time. See ya. <laughs> uh Do you love your Chucky? Who? Chucky. Shushu? Do you think he's beautiful? Yeah. Is that, is that your pet name for him, Shushu? <laughs> <laughs> I love I love that bat face. Nice touch. What? Three steps of sanding, now it's smooth as Aaron's, you know what? I'm sorry, what? I have no idea. It's not smooth. So, <laughs> so the reason why Aaron has that, she's used to mopping. Me, I don't mop, you know? Not into mopping, no, there's a lot of things I don't do. I don't mop, I don't cook. What else? You don't fold laundry. Fact. You don't brush your teeth. False. You definitely don't wash that beard. You obviously don't work out or eat healthy. <laughs> <laughs> you see, she gets breakfast with a juggler every time, so. Uh, so much meat on that juggler, you know, I just can't help it. <laughs>